Gemini. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gem TV. All right, Gemini. Karmic, eh? That karmic relationship. Let's ask the universe what guidance it has for you in this karmic relationship you're dealing with right now. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You have to come to me to book a private reading. I'm not going to come to you. There's a lot of people getting scammed out there. By people saying, hey, I'm this reader or that reader. And then they run away with your money. That's, that's not going to happen here. If you come to me, to my website, gentvtarot.com, that's the only way you can book a reading with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All that jazz. All right, Gemini and this comic connection. Oh, it's coming. This one. There. Yeah. We'll get all the cards out first. I don't know if it's you dealing with a current relationship or someone that you're invested in, interested in, that's dealing with a karmic. Um, Hold on. The overall vibe is the four of ones reversed. That's about things being way out of balance, way out of whack. But that's the way it's supposed to be. wasn't what you wanted it to be. You had all these... Someone had all these dreams about this being the big love, the big relationship, but it wasn't. It never turned out to be that. What ended up happening was It looks like a relationship full of duty and um, I'm trying to think of the right word here. It's coming to me in an emotion. It, it, this, this is a feeling of, of uh, not wanting to be there anymore being in a relationship and and uh, i'm sort of feeling like when when this other person oh it's hard to explain when this other person is tries to be intimate it's like ah don't touch me ah it's like picking up toads or something i'm i'm trying to sort of say it in a very british way and there's sort of this feeling that you're sort of grossed out or if somebody's grossed out by the other person <laughs> touching them, like, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. But I have to be in this relationship with duty. Ah! It's like, oh, we have to be intimate with each other. Oh, can I wear rubber gloves? This is just not what you wanted. It's it's, it's a very unhappy situation. Um, there's two cards here suggesting that because of this, there's been a, a wandering eye. I'm sorry, my phone's running out of batteries. Let me plug it in. 
something to suggest that because of this, there's been a wandering eye. There's been a great deal of detachment from the relationship. doesn't seem like a karmic relationship that, I mean, your general run-of-the-mill karmic is, is very bitter, very, uh, they can be uh, very uh, abusive relationships. This one feels I'm just trying to think of the word You know what's coming up is a, a relationship that I once had. It's an emotion that I keep feeling. I'll try and explain the dynamics of that relationship and let me know in the comments below if, if this is the way this relationship works for you. Uh, for for me, I, I I've been working a lot for several years traveling the world uh, and when you're in that sort of lifestyle you don't get to meet a lot of people that um, you bond with and you get close to you're always working always traveling and I ended up settling down with somebody who I wasn't in love with um, but they felt safe and any person who'd come into my life before that, they felt like they were using me. So this person that I, I, I settled into a relationship with him for a long time, not being in love with him, but it, it just, it felt safe and it felt like, well, somebody loves me, even if, even if I don't love him. And I had some roots, I had some, you know, I had a home finally, you know, I, I, I had someone to snuggle up next to in the night. And it felt nice, even though I, I wasn't actually in love with the man. I cared about him a lot, but uh, as time went on, that feeling grew and I, 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 sh I was never in love with this person. And then it just started to feel like a chore being around them. And they were, they were quite an aggressive person as well. Um, I sort of feel like I, I settled into that. I was, it was a long time. This was like over 20 years ago. I was young and uh, I just, I needed somebody. Uh, I, just, I felt like I needed somebody in my life and that's what this looks like. Um, it's a relationship where you need somebody to fill the void. And so you don't feel lonely and you don't, don't really love this person. There wasn't anyone else at the time, but I sort of knew it wasn't my one. There's a lot of detachment here. And I think that this person's in love with you, but you're not in love with them. Take this how it resonates. It could be the other way around. your friends this is someone that it's, it's like you're friendly with them you, you get on all right you have a laugh with them but you don't love them and this was the same with with my ex I you know he was funny he was a great guy just didn't love him wasn't in love with him there's a difference I feel like that's what it is you're not in love with this person yeah you're, you're fond of them very fond of them but that's that's kind of it that's as far as it goes And you're sort of thinking, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to move on? Uh, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I leave? Tell me more about now. Jim, I need to know now. Okay, this is going to end. This is, this is a cycle that's not forever. 
have you already let me know in the comments below have you already met somebody i'm all sort of looking have you already met somebody who tickles your fancy and you're like oh jesus how do I, i'm definitely getting a vibe here of how do i get out of this how do i leave this it's it's a relationship that is <sighs> it kind of duties the the word that keeps coming up you sort of feel like mm. love definitely isn't coming into this at all i don't want to hurt this person they're not a terrible person i just don't love them i don't think they're a bad person it doesn't look like it it just looks like it's just like they're kind of boring looks like they're even in the looks department it's sort of like i feel like this relationship was you settling rather than getting into a relationship that excited you it's just like well you know i don't know if i'm gonna do any better so i'll just settle for this one that's kind of how i did it because you know i kept meeting idiots so i was just like oh i don't want to meet an idiot and i'd you know suggest to these idiots would you like to be in a relationship with me and uh kept getting snubbed so i was just like you know what this person actually wants to be with me so um, i'm just gonna go there that sort of feels like what's going on here with you yeah they're kind of a bit boring they're, they're very financially stable and and uh they're just a bit pipe and slippers and you know dad bod maybe not you sort of like oh, i don't fancy this person anymore couch potato really boring they don't want to do anything let's go out oh i don't feel like it tonight let's have dinner somewhere a date <laughs> no i just want to watch the game so you've been putting that energy out there to manifest in what you do want and it might have just happened it's sort of looking here like the detachment that you've got from this past relationship this karmic relationship and the manifestation energy you're putting out there the law of attraction luring in what you really want the kind of relationship you actually really want it sort of looks like it might have just happened what's coming up in the near future mm. The Ten of Pentacles. Tens are end of a cycle, beginning of a cycle, completion. Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles are about money and finances, but this is the love reading. Ten of Pentacles is it's it's sort of about um family. That big family kind of feeling, stable family security. And I kind of feel like not in the way that you've had it here before, because I'm feeling love from this, where I'm not feeling love in the past. Duty is the, this isn't duty. This is all the things you wanted in the connection that you had, but you weren't getting. <laughs> There's fear coming into this reading. My throat chakra is like, uh, no. This is it. This is what you want. It's come in. You want the big love. You want the big relationship. You want, you know, goalposts being met, but happily. With the right person who excites you you don't want to settle anymore so you're bringing it in you're calling it in you're not 
this person who you're with can never be that because you don't love this person and there's nothing that they can do to become that person. Oh gosh. This person, uh, that yawn is from them. That's not from you, that's from them. Uh, there's a, a heavy energy around them as well. There's somebody, somebody important to them uh, passed away recently. Somebody important in their life. And uh, it's actually, you know, the energy I'm getting is that you didn't love them before and now they're even more boring, uh, which just seems mean because uh, they're going through something, but they don't want to do anything anymore. They sit around looking miserable all the time. You can't cheer them up. They're comfort eating. Uh, they're grieving. That's, that's what's going on with them. They're grieving. They've lost someone important to them. And, and uh, it actually, you didn't think it was possible, but you actually love this person even less now. And we're in a very heavy energy from them. And I'm, I don't see them coming out of it. Ever. Is that, is that sad to say? sort of seeing them from now to being older, being... And this is nothing to do with you. This is just them now. They're just, they're just unhappy. They're real, oh, heavy energy around them. They're sucking the life out of you. Wow. They're, they're, wherever they were before they're now becoming lower and lower and lower vibrational it's it's going lower and lower i don't see them ever coming out of it you need to be getting out of there baby there's no rescue in this person and and if there is any rescue in them it's not your job your job is to move the hell on just get out of there you've got your ace of wands new beginning and this is you leaving behind something and going on to better things. So, I, I sort of, I'm more seeing what's making you unhappy than the, I mean, it looks like there's something's piqued your interest, some body's piqued your interest. It looks like it. I, I don't see them coming up in the near future, but it's sort of like, if they are there, they're just a stepping stone. They're not your big love, but they're exciting. Tell me more. They, they could be everything, but until you are in a place emotionally and spiritually where you're uh, stable and happy and secure and you don't need anybody to give you that, until you're in that place, they can't be everything that you want them to be. Were you to, you know, up your game and be very independent and stable without anybody else helping you, then this person could be the person for you. Your big love it could be, but you got to get your energy in the right place. You got to start raising your vibrations because you've been with someone very low of vibrational. You have to start making this right. I'm gonna. Where are they? I'm gonna take this into extended in a minute. I'm gonna ask about this karmic relationship. How they feel about you, how they see you, what they want to say to you, what are their intentions towards you, and some guidance from the universe. I'm not going to ask about what's coming up. I don't feel like I need to put that in the extended. I think I've kind of said it all here. Yeah, this could be a big love, but not if you don't sort yourself out. So you got to do that. But let's ask about the past person. Luck is on your side. 
personal issue reaches resolution. So I, I feel like you're manifesting the end of this, which is excellent. I like that. And your love lyric. Voices by Chew Trick. So I kind of feel like... Listen, listen to the lyrics to Voices. This one says, I remember every word you said. Like how important you are to somebody. And them being completely hooked on you and, and besotted. Could be the way your karmic feels about you, but... You... You can't stay in a relationship to make someone else happy. You have to kind of have to do it for yourself. All right. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. The link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you later.